What is up guys, Dark here. In today's character spotlight, I am taking a look at Mordred, a character that I've been trying to do for quite a while, but I haven't had any Mordred friends on my friends list. That's all changed though, thanks to you guys in the comments. And I will do a quick shout out to a few of you guys who have posted and added me to be able to use them. I'm not sure if I used your Mordred in the video or I'm not sure whose Mordred I actually used, but I'm gonna do a quick shout out to Gary Zed. I do it for memes. GT Racer, Michael Chang, and Jaded Heart. You all, you know, came to me in the comments, added me, and have Mordred up available to use. So, just want to do a quick shout out to you guys. Hopefully, I said your names right. And once again, thank you for adding me. A lot of these videos require me to have the character, and I don't have all the five star characters. I don't have that many five star characters. So, I do need uh, friend captains to help me do these videos and keep them going. So, I do appreciate when you guys come together and add me if I do need a certain character. So yeah, thanks, and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the character spotlight. So I do have our pictures on the screen right now, and this is one of the rare cases where I actually prefer the earlier Ascension artworks to the later Ascension artworks. I really do like the armor design that she has going for her, and then over the course of her Ascension artwork she ends up losing the armor, which... I'm not a huge fan of. I personally do prefer the armor overall. But enough of that. Enough about that. We're gonna move on here to her stats. And I do want this character. I will say that first. She is part of the Miyuki Club, and I'm trying to get all the characters voiced by Miyuki Sawashiro. So at some point, I definitely want to get this character. But that's just a personal little thing on the side that I'm trying to get. Anyway, as for her stats, she is a five-star saber, so she will go up to level 90. And at level 90, she has 11,723 attack, and she has 14,680 HP. So overall, she ranks at 6th in HP and 9th in attack for current servants currently on the game. And if you do decide to max her out, she will end up with 14,833 attack and 18,083 HP. So she's got some really good balanced stats. Again, she is a saber, so she will have a little bit higher HP. But overall, she has some very very good stats so now let's move over here to her servant skills she does have a pretty bland skill set but it does get the job done for what she's used for and her first skill is going to be the mana burst a skill which will increase buster card effectiveness for one turn this is a self buff and it does a 30% increase at level 1 and a 50% increase at level 10 so this is a really good card or a really good skill to use for your buster cards and your noble phantasm which is also going to be buster so you just combo that in when you're ready to do a good burst or an AoE, like wave clear, and you're going to have no problems, you know, getting that done. Moving on here to her second skill, which is going to be Intuition B. This is going to gain critical stars. So, you know, the higher the level, the more stars you get. At level 1, it's going to be 4 stars, and at level 10, it's going to be 14 stars. It's definitely not the best skill, but it definitely helps, you know, do a little bit more damage if you can stack up those stars high enough. The third and final skill is going to be the Secret of Pedigree EX, and this is going to be a self buff that removes debuffs, greatly increases defense for one turn, and increases her Noble Phantasm gauge. So this is a very good skill, and it definitely helps with what she's used for, and that's primarily for like AOE wave clears. But the uh, defense increase is 30% at level 1, and it's 50% at level 10, and you increase your Noble Phantasm gauge 10% at level 1, and 30% at level 10. So this is really nice because if you can combine it with Kaleidoscope or Imaginary Element or any really craft essence that increases your Noble Phantasm gauge at the start of the fight, you can use this skill or combo with someone else that increases your Noble Phantasm gauge and you can just use her Noble Phantasm on like wave 1 and then maybe combo it with, um, I don't know, any other AoE wave clear like another Saber or something like that and then use that on wave 2 clear that out and then you get right into the boss. It's very good for farming and speed clearing things as long as your characters are leveled up high enough. So another character you could potentially use her with is the Tamamo no Mei caster. Uh, she's very good because she primarily focuses on regenerating Noble Phantasm span and lowering the cooldowns of your skills so you can keep spamming those skills over and over. So you can keep the mana burst active more often and you can have the secret of pedigree going more than once in a fight. And you know, it just overall makes Mordred just such a better character, and if you have both of them, it's definitely a very good combination, so give that a try and uh, see how good the results can end up being. 
Moving on here to her class skills, her first skill is going to be the Magic Resistance B skill, which will increase debuff resistance by 17.5%, and her second skill is the Riding B skill, which will increase quick card effectiveness by 8%. So that's not really a huge thing, because you're primarily going to use her on Buster teams, but you know, every now and then it's always nice to have those Arts cards in there, or the Quick cards in there, just do a little bit of extra damage whenever it pops up. So moving on here to her Ascension and her Skill Enhancement Materials. For her Ascension, you will need Fangs, Demon Hearts, Crystals, and Dragon Scales. And then for her Skill Enhancements, you're going to need Crystals, Dragon Fangs, Dragon Talons, and Dragon Scales. So moving on here to her Command Cards and her Noble Phantasm. She does have 1 Quick, 2 Arts, and 2 Buster Cards, but you do primarily want to use her only in Buster Teams because she does have that skill that increases the Buster card effectiveness and her Noble Phantasm is Buster as well and it will deal heavy damage to all enemies and it does a pretty good amount of damage so you could probably wave clear any of the earlier non-boss stages with this Noble Phantasm but it will also deal special damage to any servant or enemy that is classified as an Arthur enemy and it will also increase Noble Phantasm gauge a little bit on the overcharge as well so this is a really good Noble Phantasm and it also does have an interlude quest that is available in the London Singularity that will further increase the damage and it will further increase the Noble Phantasm gauge just a little bit more. So it will increase the Noble Phantasm gauge from 10% to 20% at level 1 and then from 30% to 40% at level 5. Now most people probably won't get it at level 5 but still having that 20% increase of your Noble Phantasm gauge at level 1 is still very nice to combo it with her second skill and other characters that can increase Noble Phantasm gauge. It's very nice. I think I said the second skill, but it's actually her third skill. Moving on. So now we're going to talk about her craft essences that you could use on this character. So at level 10 bond, you're going to unlock the Who Am I craft essence, which will increase Noble Phantasm strength of all allies by 20% while in the field. And while that's not necessarily a bad craft essence, there are definitely better options being the Kaleidoscope Craft Essence, which will start you at 80% Noble Phantasm Gauge. So use this, combo it with her third skill, and then you can get your Noble Phantasm ready on turn one and use it as a wave clear. And if you don't have Kaleidoscope, you can use the Imaginary Element. Now this only starts you at 60%, so combo it with your skill and that'll get you to 30%, so 90% total. So you just need any other character that can give you that extra 10% increase to get that wave one clear. Or if you have another character that can get to 100%, use that on on turn 1, and then you can use Mordred on turn 2 for the wave clear, and then someone else on turn 3 for the wave clear if you're able to clear all three waves with your Noble Phantasms for like a speed clear run or something like that. If you don't decide you want to do that, you can go ahead and just increase her attack with Divertent Sound of Destruction for the 15% increase, or Limit Zero Over for the 25% increase. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video here, guys. I will leave you with Mordred's Noble Phantasm, and I will see you guys tomorrow.